actually haven't played this anything so we play ground does not gain anything although we have about 50 new countries anyway we today are having to go through the dreaded 1922 hard mode which has kept me awake at night every day thinking about it and you know it's only right that we do this hard mode with a global super pack Why did I choose Czechoslovakia for this? We are going into war with Czech... I'm not going to war with myself, I'm going into war with Hungary, I've got my words muddled up here. <laughs> you see, the big brain moves of this game sometimes isn't aggression, but it's just flat out making every country a puppet. Because in a situation where you have to take Vermeer, Paris, London, Probably, yeah, Berlin and um, Konstantin and Israel. I mean, Jerusalem. It's a very hard situation. Also, I've just probably started some sort of war somewhere for saying that there's only Israel and not Palestine. I'm sorry, guys. Now we are in war with Austria. You see, although Austria is literally just two places now. It's the, sh it's the long term effect is ass, because that means there's less chance of someone slapping me as more chance of them being absolute idiots and slapping a tiny country like Austria. Did they do something wrong? Because Italy already wants to kill me. Too much of my mind just happened. I accidentally declared war on Bulgaria. Then it wouldn't let me not declare war on Bulgaria, so I went to Romania because they were in a war with one of my puppets just for the USSR to declare war on me. What's going on there? This looks stupid, but we're gonna go into war with a way of better republic. Just in the sense, yeah. Sure, that's also drag to Dutch with us, but if we claim the um, precise of land, um, where is it? Munich. We can get the best troop in the game, so yeah, that's my point. Yes, we have our overpowered troop. <laughs> This is how I'm getting gone. Here, it's absolute chaos. I can't even tell who's winning their battles. So, yeah. I mean, the Soviet Union's surrendered to us, I guess, and Denmark were in a war for a few minutes and then gave up. Nothing too much I can say. 110 IQ move. We've made allies with Romania. So then we can attack Kajastai. Meanwhile, in the Balkans, and Europe itself, how is Britain not one of the countries trying to kill everyone at this stage? It's only really, um, who is it? So we have Italy, Switzerland, why are they attacking? Also, how does Switzerland border with Austria? That's not good. I mean, the Balkans has been an absolute mess. So yeah, it's just pretty normal, actually. Here's an update on how things are getting on, and I'm gonna be honest, I still don't believe that us is, we have a stable empire. Like, I know you might be saying we have a lot of te territory, we go from Berlin, Paris, all the way to Kiev. But the fact that the Ottomans are always attacking us, and there's always a bunch of random countries which declare war, it's very odd. We've made allies with Saudi Arabia for tactical land. Czechoslovakia, bring it on. What were Poland thinking? They declared war on us. And I immediately realised that we're way to about 50 times stronger, so now we have another puppy. Sorry, Matthew. Finally, the war is over with us and the Ottomans. And in our case, we have got a major win because we took Crimea and all that from them. And also took a bit of their mainland. We have made an alliance with Hedgesai. 
And now we have a ally to help us defeat the big boys. It's time for the Battle of Jerusalem. One team wins, the other fails. Because they both can't win. Oh, that's an interesting gun. I haven't seen that one. Yeah, you can see that I'm very powerful considering I'm Czechoslovakia. I'm hungry, he's actually quite small. By the way, they're my allies, some of these. That's why, um, well, I did tell you if they were my allies, didn't I? So I think these will help with every battle, because I think they also declared war in Britain, but they happen to be my allies. Well, New Hedrezai was an um, person against Britain anyway. Or however you pronounce it. Yeah, I think we've got this in the back. Boom, we have captured Jerusalem. It's the Battle of London, although for some reason they don't have any whatsoever defensive troops, so it really makes me confused because I thought they'd heavily guard their capital. Was like was something wrong going through their minds making this um army? Like it it's making me confused why they wouldn't defend the capital. Also, I think that's the final major city we needed. The final place we need is um, Italy, uh, Italy's room, so we're going to do that. Yes, yes, yes! We have got Rome, and finally, after all these years, I have Switzerland. It brings a tear to my eye. I really want to. Where's the child? Where's Chuckslow? He's hanging out over here with Belgium. Hello. Hello. I killed you, Italy. Uh... I could technically spend hours just messing around with those characters, by the way. <laughs> Which is quite cool. Apparently, the pl I'm pretty sure the playground used to literally just be a playground, but now it's more of a build a city thing. I'm sort of forgetting where everyone lives because we have Egypt over here, um, naughty Germany here, Montenegro, Poland, Serbia, everyone's here. When there's like a few weird, even though I know that I place a house for every time a new country is summoned. Hmm, very confusing. Now guys, I'm just really going to be doing objectives with random countries on this game because I need to mentally prepare myself for Nightmare Mode. I mean, I've eaten rectangular Balkans on Nightmare, but that does that really count? Because there's about, like, four countries you need to kill. And if you're the one with the most alliance, it's most likely you are going to win. Anyway, let's just start doing random countries. It would be so funny if Albania were with it World War 1. No way, I'm in World War 1 as Albania. And I'm part of the Axis, because remember when Albania historically were part of the Axis? We are now at war with Greece, because we need the early game territory. Now Greece is our puppet, so yeah, we have our one puppet of the round. We have officially taken out Romania. We have made Persia a puppet, because why not? Finally we've joined the Axis, well the... Triple Alliance. The first member to fall is Montenegro as they're the smallest, of course by me. Serbia have now fallen. They finally accepted it, let's go. Belgium's be puppet now. We didn't need to but we talked to the Netherlands. We're starting to get into Russia which is good, hopefully it doesn't hit winter though, or yikes. Also, um, a lot of our allies have fallen apart here, which is a bit of a concern. Russia is now a puppet, so I guess this is the end of the allies. Why on earth has Denmark declared war on me? Now we have Britain as a puppet state. <laughs> now, time to attack. One country remains Jesus. I wonder what he's of. As we have made Hello. Italy a puppet. And after taking their capital and kicking them out of Africa, France have surrendered. 
Me and that's I'm not happy about getting the Ottoman Empire. It's the fact that we have officially unlocked where is he? Albania, cause yay. He's now neighbours with Czechoslovakia. Cause they are such historical buddies. I actually didn't have a scoop duty ever. Had an alliance or had a war against each other. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.